a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, all he left me was alone. <laughs> Y'all, I was just thinking about this Lil Nas X situation. And that song just popped into my head. Y'all and y'all Christians, y'all do too much. Okay, y'all do too much. Listen, before we begin, and I tell y'all about the riding of the Satan and... <laughs> uh, please don't forget to like this video, okay? Like it now, like it later, like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my other social media platforms. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms. And I'm gonna give it up. I'm gonna let you know what it is. And you ain't necessarily going to like it, but it's my opinion. So good, bad, good, bad, or indifferent. Papa was a rolling stone. dropped a song okay he dropped a song called call me by my name or something like that and people are going ballistic about it the fake christians are spazzing everyone is losing their fucking minds okay i have no idea why except for hypocrisy okay um let me just be honest these celebrities are not here to raise your children so the first pe bunch of people who say my daughter is 11 she saw the song she was like Lil Nas X is the biggest troll ever why are these people even paying attention to him you know why because I raised my child to have common sense I know common sense ain't so common but common sense okay your kid watching this boy, you know, ride Satan ain't no different than him watching your son or your daughter watching the shit that happens in the in these regular music videos um, by other black artists, by rock artists, you know, fuck Marilyn Manson and did a lot of shit on stage that nobody said anything about. But it's because he is a little black gay boy. Y'all niggas is mad. Call your spades, okay? I think the sneakers are hysterical. Nike wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta pull, no, we don't even gotta pull it up, child. Y'all seen the sneakers, child. I think the shit is hysterical. Nike has one, he might get sued because the way trademark work, I don't think you can use the swipe. I don't know how that's gonna work. You know, people are like people, let me tell you. So I did pull up, I did pull up, I'm not going to put it up because the sneaker, the sneaker sold out today in less than a minute. Okay. So apparently there are people who bought it. All right. Um, Nike is saying they have no involvement with the Satan shoes. It was created by this artistic organization here in New York called MSCHF. Okay. Listen, I am an artist. I'm sensitive about my shit, all right? They are artists. How dear y'all. Um, Christianity, Chris, the Christians are such hip, hypocrites. The hypocrisy of it all is overwhelming. Y'all were laughing last week about uh, about Derek Jackson's wife and the blood of Jesus. And re like, y'all here mad at a music video, but y'all are really here, you know, throwing spells around like nothing here attacking the muslims here attacking anybody who don't want to believe in not only your god but your dom your denomination of said god it's too much um so i'm reading this article from the shade room nike said their name is bennett they're not in it there are also only 666 pairs of shoes this shit is so funny 
This shit is so fucking funny. And people are in uproars with this boy, mad that he had the nerve to not be ashamed. That's the problem. Y'all be mad at the fact that a lot of these gay children aren't ashamed of being who they are. Okay, let me let me just call a spade because, you know, we come from a generation where people would hide the shit. You know, people would marry women, fuck up women's lives when they didn't want women to begin with. And you're just so mad that this little boy who is thoroughly comfortable with his sexuality trolled the fuck out of y'all. Trolled the fuck out of y'all. And it was hysterical. It was amazing. And he should do it again. How much of y'all celebrities got called out on your low-key hate of gay people? You only want them around you when they're here to do your hair or do your makeup. Child, bye. Miss me with the shit. Somebody wrote, uh, I think the biggest problem for me... <laughs> Bitch, we don't care. Is the fact that he don't understand. He don't understand. Old Town Road is every kid's anthem. Children love him for that record. They tune in and subscribe to his channel. So with that, with, so with no disclaimer, he just dropped some left field ish on on all our kids seen it. And his response is, I literally sing about lean. Old Town Road is not for children. Papa was a rolling stone. Like, that ain't for children either. Okay? Listen to what the fuck. Y'all too busy bopping to the beat like dumbasses. None of his songs have been for these fucking children. <sighs> I literally sing about lean and adultery in the Old Town Road. You decide just to let your child listen. Blame yourself. Listen. Listen. Um, then he trolled him again with some uh, Chick-fil-A shoes, John 3.16. Listen, I cannot. I cannot. He trolled him again by posting a so-called apology video. The apology video got like 3 million views on YouTube. He ain't apologizing. Listen, you think that you get to force your belief system on other people. First of all, you don't. That's the problem with your Christian to begin with. You're trying to force your shit on other people when they don't want to deal with it. When half the time y'all don't even y'all don't even live the lives y'all claim y'all say. Half of the people, it was Nick Young talking shit. It was fucking chicks that we done seen they ass and they titties all over Instagram but they talking shit like bitch which bible verse which bible verse do you follow and which do you not cause apparently the gay boy sliding on Satan it's too much <laughs> it's too much <laughs> oh my god this man wrote more concerned about little Nas X and it's fit of, uh, ooh, hold up. They just don't. If you're going to demonize somebody for any reason, you better make sure that you are first living according to the truths that you profess. I believe a primary calling of all Christians is to reduce the gap between others and the way of Jesus. And you don't do this by shoving truth bills down people's throats. If that won't work with you, why would it work with somebody else? Next time you get triggered by something like this, I'll start with these two questions. What are you really triggered by? What are the deep hurts or joys that this artist hopes to express through their work? What are you really triggered by? Okay, let's deal with that. You're really triggered by the fact because if it was some, if it was Britney fucking Spears, Ariana Grande, or I don't know these new singers, child, but if it was any of them, I doubt it would be this deep. I doubt it would be this deep. I doubt it. But your fake Christians and your fake Christianity is why the world is the way it is now. If you gonna believe, if you gonna fucking follow suit to some shit, follow suit to some shit. Or just shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing. Cause you look dumb. And I'm done.